Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, The Makeup Alec Hair. Uh, today I'm coming to you with a makeup video. I don't know what the hell I was going to do. But uh, we're going to paint some makeup and we're going to do something. Because it's been a while since I've posted a makeup video on my channel. So I'm going to go ahead and start off by showing you how I color correct to get rid of... Well, not to get rid of, but to hide or camouflage the spots that i have here the acne is no longer there however i do have the scarring so i'm going to show you how i color correct and the products that i use are my la girl pro conceal in orange and i mix it with my phone because this is a hella orange for my skin so i'm not sure if this video is going to be a full talk through at least i think it's not going to be however i may do a talk over um, a voiceover for this video so if you don't hear me say anything for the rest of the video uh, just enjoy it so I'm gonna mix these two and uh, show you what I do okay guys so I start out by mixing a really small amount of the orange concealer and a little bit of my fawn concealer and I just pat that over the areas that I need to correct and voila all the dark spots disappear and right now i'm just setting that air that i corrected with my air spun powder and i love 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 this powder and i set it so that it does not move around underneath my foundation when i lay my foundation down and i am using my maybelline matte and poreless in 335 classic tan as my foundation today and I'm just putting this all over my face right now. And I'm going to buff this in with my Real Techniques buffing brush. So that is what I'm doing right now. And that brush was hella dry. Like it wanted to tear my skin off. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm buffing that into my face right now. And I'm going to go in with my yellow concealer as my highlight today. And do you see this wind? Like it was trying to blow my background down and all of that disrespectful stuff. Right, so I'm using my foundation brush to blend in the highlight. And the reason why I do this is because the yellow highlight is very pigmented and I don't want to look stark white. I hate a bright highlight. So I just use whatever is left on the foundation brush to kind of tone it down a bit. And it works marvelously. You can try it out. And now I'm just going to set my highlight with my regular old Benai powder. I refuse to stop using it until it is done, although I want to try the sash off. But I'm just going in with that and I'm just going to bake for a few minutes. And now I'm going to use my air spun powder. And guys, this sets my makeup like no other, especially for the summer months. I'm just going all over my face with that. And right now, I'm just going in with my concealer in Fawn as a um, eyeshadow base. And I'm just using my concealer brush to spread that all over my face. Well, my eyelids. What am I talking about? I'm just putting that all over my eyelids so that I can get a really good fat canvas to lay down my powders on my eyeshadows on guys i'm getting all this combobulated and whatever i don't know what's going on with me so i'm just patting that into my skin and next i'm going to go over that with my ear spun again just to set that in place so that i have a really really smooth canvas to put down all my shades on so yeah that is what i'm doing right now And now I am going in with terracotta from LA Girl, I think it is. I will list all the things that I use down below. I'm going in with terracotta as my crease shade. And then I'm going in with a blush called Coco just to darken up my crease a little bit to add some dimension and definition to my crease area. And now I am going in with a, I think this is another LA Girl um, powder. 
It's really pretty eyeshadow rather. I keep saying powder. But it was not picking up on this brush, guys. The struggle was real. I had to give up. You'll see me give up in a few seconds. Like I was trying, like no. It was not working. <laughs> so I went in with my fingers and then I started getting the color because it was like it was not working. That shadow was not going on that brush for nothing, nothing. So yeah, I'm just using my fingers to pat the color onto my lids. And I'm not really I'm not going up into my crease at all. I just want it on the mobile lid. And then when I'm done doing that, I'm going to just blend. And guys, you don't hear me say blending. You don't see me blending a lot, but you need to blend your shadows. Right now, I'm going in with another blending brush in the outer V of my eyes. And I'm going in with, it's a MAC, um, one of the MAC potted shadow. What is the name? I can't remember the name of it. I will leave it down below. But it's like a very deep burgundy and I'm using that to darken up the outer V of my eye and to add some definition and you know, a little drama out there. And I did my winged liner um, off cam because that struggle was too real because my potted liner is all dried up. And yeah, I don't want y'all to see that struggle right there. So now I'm just putting on some mascara on my eyes and my lashes to get them popping. And guys, if it looks too much, just scrape it off. Don't go ahead and mess up all your under eye and mess up all your work. Like I did. Y'all didn't see it, but I did. Mess it up and have to do it over. Now I'm going to go in with some 415 lashes off cam, of course. And yeah, I think I misplaced this clip because I don't know what happened right there. Yeah. But now I'm bronzing my face with my bronzer that I got from Shop Miss A. I really love this bronzer because I I rarely cream contour. I mostly bronze. So yeah. Now I'm going in with uh, Oh, here's the lashes now. Okay, so I really had misplaced that clip. I'm sorry about that, guys. I'm going in with this lippy from City Color. I think it's called Ox Blood Red. It's really vampy and really pretty. And I'm just putting that on. I so love the City Color Lippies. They're really very gorgeous and lightweight on the lips. And now I'm putting on my highlight. I think this is a Ruby Kisses highlight that I am putting on my cheeks to get my glow on. Putting some on my Cupid's bow to look all cute and all. And now for the hair portion of it. How to style your really short, kinky 4C hair. So this hair, I just blow up my hair with the blow dryer. And I think I went over it with my uh, hot comb so to lighten it just a little bit. And I'm going to use my Afro pick and just fluff it out to get rid of all the parts and all of that that I had put in it. And to give it a real fluffy fro look. And uh, just using my fingers to fluff it up. And going in with my Eco Style Gel, my Holy Grail. Just to stick up my edges and all. Just to get them baby hairs laid, boo laid. And looking all slick and all. Okay, guys, so my mama had called me to chew me out over the fact that I did not call her back for Mother's Day, y'all. Y'all don't chew me out either. So <laughs> it's not my fault, not my fault. Okay. So I'm just um holding back my hair with some the the, the large bobby pins. I'm just using two to like hold like one side of my hair in place to get like a really cute up down side swept afro and I'm just slicking down my sideburns at the edges and all that. So yeah, if I sound a little bit stuffy guys, the weather in Jamaica has been like 
crazy, like crazy, crazy, crazy. So I'm sorry about that. And now I am going to spray my face with Max, <laughs> Max Fix Plus. And it's almost done. And if you guys want me to show you how I do my DIY Fix Plus, because this is what that is. Uh, you can just leave me a message down below and I will show you how I do that and I absolutely love it and it absolutely slays. That's why I drench my face with it. So that's me vlogging.